Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to the part number 8 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. In the previous video we have finished implementation of the spread builder. Just to remind you, we need spread because it is a stationary process, which means both mean and variance are constant values and they do not depend on time. That means we can use simple statistical methods to analyze the spread. Today we start working on data analyzer. The purpose of this model is to use spread as the input data and provide trading signals as the output. In order to produce those trading signals we need a Saturn strategy. In our case data analyzer will be based on mean reversion strategy with z-score. If z-score goes above or below certain values we open long or short positions respectively and when z-score returns to zero we close those positions. Sounds very simple. Today we'll have a theoretical video where I'll try to explain what is z-score and how to calculate it. And next time we'll implement data analyzer. Let's take a quick look at our spread. If we take all values of this spread like 3, 4, 5, 7 and so on and put them on the chart where horizontal axis represents the spread values and vertical axis represents how many times these values were observed, we will receive distribution chart. Our distribution chart may look like this bell curve. In statistics it is called normal or Gaussian distribution chart. Most values of the spread are located very closely to the mean and very few of them are located on certain distance. This score is a distance between value and spread mean measured in standard deviations. If this score equals to zero, spread value equals to spread mean value. If this score equals to minus one, spread value is one standard deviation to the left of the mean. If spread equals to 2, spread value is two standard deviations to the right of the mean. In this core range between minus 1 and 1, we'll have approximately 68% of all spread values. And in the range between minus 2 and 2, 95%. That means if this score gets to 2 or minus 2, there is 95% chance that it will bounce back in the direction to 0, which is very important for our mean reversion strategy. So how do we calculate this score? The formula is pretty simple. At center point in time i, this score equals to spread value minus spread mean divided by standard deviation. Because mean and variance are constant in time, we do not have this i subscript next to them. This formula repeats what we have already observed on the chart. If spread value equals to spread mean, the result of this subtraction would be zero, and zero divided by any constant value will give us zero z-score. If spread value is one standard deviation away from its mean, the result of this subtraction would be either negative or positive sigma, and sigma divided by sigma will give us either minus 1 or 1 z-score. And finally, if spread value is two standard deviations away from its mean, the result of this subtraction will give us either minus two sigmas or two sigmas and if we divide the result by sigma we will get either two or minus two. But on practice we need some flexibility. We do not know how historical values affect current spread values and during backtesting we have to deal somehow with look-ahead bias. That is why instead of simple mean and standard deviation we will use rolling mean and rolling standard deviation with window size n. 
Look again at the spread chart. Let's assume that our window size n equals to 40. We take the spread range from 0 to 40 and calculate mean and standard deviation for that range. Using those values, we can calculate z score for time point 40. Then we shift window and calculate z score for time point 41 and repeat that operation over and over again. And finally, we'll get z score chart, this blue line. If z score crosses 2, like we said before, there is 95% chance that its value will bounce back. So, at this point, we short spread. Similarly, if z score crosses minus 2, there is 95% chance that it will go back to 0. And at this point, we long spread. And if z score gets closer to 0, we close positions. Well, that was all theory for today. In the next video, we'll try to implement it. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!